We out here, I need to welcome in producer Cat, who has called some responses from this comment that I made on the Twitters before the SEC in Oklahoma and Texas decided to destroy all that we know and love. And the comment that I made was Nebraska and Arkansas would have more fun in the Big 12. Again, y'all had takes on my take. So, Producer Cat, what were some of the best as you see it? Let's start with our friend Josh, mm. who said, I agree with Nebraska, but I think Arkansas belongs in the SEC. They've shown in the past they can hang when they have competent coaching. No, they haven't. I, I mean, I guess what you're saying here is that Bobby Petrino had a, like a really good 2011. And at one point we could talk about the SEC West. I think having three out of the top five programs in the country. And I think one of those was even like Ole Miss. But the way that I couch this is Arkansas has never won the SEC championship. Never. They've been in that league for 30 years. The last time they won a championship, Ken Hatfield was head coach in 1989. And Arkansas has one national title and one unclaimed. So I guess you could give them two if that's what you really want to do. But since we're not in the business of giving you titles you don't claim, we're going to stick with one here. And that was when Coach Broyles was the head coach. Okay? Coach Broyles has his own award for assistant coaches now. It's really highly coveted. So could Nebraska hang in the SEC? No. Like, like ugh. No. <laughs> like, if you, we're talking about Nebraska just trying to put on a good show against Oklahoma to celebrate the game of the century's 50th anniversary. Okay? All right, Arkansas and Nebraska would have so much more fun in the Big 12, especially now that two of the best teams in it are deciding to leave. I should also add, Producer Cat refused to let me see any of your responses. So I'm coming with these things off the top of my head. That's intentional. I want your first reaction. You can't plan what you're going to say. So this is from Nathan. He says they would be competing for second place in the Big 12 instead of being bottom feeders in their conferences right now. That's the point. Yeah, that's the point. You'd have more fun. It's kind of like Central Florida in the American. Okay. Central Florida moves the SEC. Might be middle of the road. Might jump up and bite somebody every now and again, kind of like an Ole Miss, right? Kind of like South Carolina, perhaps. Even A&M, right? I keep picking on A&M because A&M fans seem to think very highly of themselves and have not won a national title since, you know, before World War II in 1939, okay? Couldn't win the Southwest Conference, couldn't win the Big 12, can't win in the SEC. But... If they were a part of the American, they'd probably be having the same kind of fun that Central Florida is, which is stomping mud holes in people and walking it dry and getting to claim national championships in 2017. Matter of fact, Central Florida has become one of the most hated programs in all of college football, and I'm here for it because all they did was run the table undefeated and say, hey, we beat everybody on the schedule, and we asked to play Alabama. We asked to play Georgia. We asked to play Oklahoma. Y'all wouldn't let us in. So we're just going to take our banner, and we're going to hang it. I'm with that. I think that that is the kind of space that Arkansas would like to be in because the thing that Arkansas and Nebraska have going for them is that they are the pro teams in their state. And I submit to you, everybody feels better about finishing in a Big 12 championship game than they do about getting sunned on in the Big 10 West and getting sunned on in the SEC West. Okay? Nobody wants to be anybody's son. Everybody wants to be a parent. Be a parent in the Big 12. You're going to stay a son in the SEC in the Big 10. Produce Gat, what else you got? Last one is from Taylor. Hmm. We really only struggle with football in the SEC. Pretty dominant across the board other than that. Although it would be cool playing new teams, I feel like our football program could be headed in the right direction. You want to be the best, compete, and beat the best. Is this, is this an Arkansas fan? This must be an Arkansas fan. It's got to be an Arkansas fan. Okay. Just ma I'm making sure because I don't want to direct my energies at Nebraska and it ain't Nebraska that is coming in here with this wildly ridiculous, stupidly take. Like, ridiculously stupid. Okay. 
we're good in everything but the sport that everybody cares about. Wait a second. I'm not checking for water polo at Arkansas. Hell, I'm a track nerd, and I'm not even checking for track at Arkansas, and Arkansas has one hell of a track and field program. What are you talking about? What, like, all right, let me put it another way. Texas has a women's athletic director and a men's athletic director. That's how large their athletic offerings are. And they seem to make that work in the Big 12 just fine, okay? It's one of the reasons they're attractive to the SEC. You could come over, play Texas Christian in baseball, Baylor in baseball, add Dallas Baptist to the Big 12 baseball alliance, if you will, have a good time, go play in College World Series. But it feels like since y'all had, had a little bit of success here recently, that people from, uh, remember Andrew Benatendi coming out of there, that you feel like somehow getting beat up by a Vanderbilt is something to crow about. Vanderbilt is really good at these sports you claim you're also good at. Guess what people are sunning on Vanderbilt about 24-7, 365? They're trash football. Now, move Vanderbilt to another conference. And by another conference, I mean outside of the Power Five. They probably have a good time. They probably have a good time in the Mountain West. They probably have a good time in the American. They probably have a good time in the WAC. But in the SEC, you're counting nine losses, okay? I like Coach Pittman. I like Arkansas football. It's why I am saying y'all would have more fun in the Big 12. I'm not even saying y'all don't need to be playing Power 5 football. I am saying you need to play in a conference where you are going to have the talent to compete for a championship. Okay? As much as people want to dog Oklahoma for how it has played in the college football playoff, I submit to you, I'm having a damn good time running up one, two, three, four, five, six national, or excuse me, Big 12 championships in a row, and one, two, three, out of five, four out of five college football playoffs here. Let's see, 2017, 2018, 2019, 2015. Four out of six, right? That's fun to me. Winning 12 games a year is fun to me. Having Texas be the toughest game on the schedule outside of whoever it is we schedule in the non-conference is fun to me. Nebraska just ain't keeping up their end this year. Like, I really wanted them to be good. But for you to come out here and tell me that you care more about your program's winning let's say, men's basketball championships, which is the second best uh, sport, I would also look to you and say, when's the last time y'all won a, an SEC championship in basketball since y'all are so good at these other sports? Volleyball? Track and field. Yeah, I mean, I can keep going here. You know, Florida has Florida relays. Louis, LSU, LSU destroyed, destroyed the men's track and field championships this year. Where was Arkansas? Just saying. If you go come at me, come at me correct. That's, that's all I'm doing. I'm trying to help you. I'm on your side, Arkansas. I'm on your side, Nebraska. I want y'all to be fun. I want y'all to have fun. But you apparently care more about money than winning. And this is the part that, Kat, let me, let me ask this as a Tennessee fan. I mean this. And I'm, I'm being sincere. Do you care how much money the University of Tennessee brings in from its partnership with the SEC? No. What do you care about when you cared about Tennessee before you quit that drug? Going better than six and six. Winning, right? I, just, I, I get to claim winning. Like, one of the things that is a reoccurring theme on this show is 2015 OU Tennessee for obvious reasons, right? That's where I, as a fan, get my credit. And see this, this is this. You can't see Cat's face, but you should see Cat's face because she, like, knowing she's gonna bring in more money than Oklahoma from their contract, it's not gonna make her feel any better about losing to Oklahoma in 2015. It's not gonna happen, right? That's my point here. I approach this first being a fan of the sport and being a fan of my team. I'm also not an idiot about my team, and I'm not an idiot about yours. I'm a realist, okay? Realistically. You will have more fun in the Big 12 
than you would in the Big Ten if you're in Nebraska, than you would if you are SEC, if you're Arkansas, even as you'll bring in more money. That's all I'm saying. So when y'all vote the money, I wonder if y'all are fans at all. It's kind of like basketball nerds. Do y'all like the game or do y'all like talking about what the numbers say about the game? Because I'm here to watch, you know, Olympians. Just back to my previous point. You're good enough or you're not. If you're not, find out where you fit in. Find out what you're good at. You know? Be a specialist. It's fine. It's okay. Hey, kid folk. I appreciate you for watching. Subscribe here and ring the bell so you don't miss the latest upload to the channel. Also, be sure to watch more videos here like FS1 Studio Shows and the best from Fox Sports and Fox Sports Digital.